Hello, everyone, and welcome to Divine Conversations, and welcome to The Sip, your daily collective tower reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new here, my name is Eric. It is so wonderful to see you, meet you, and greet you. And if you are returning, <laughs> what is up, squad? So check it out, guys. This is a general collective reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as everything is not going to resonate for everyone all the time. Also, this is a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading. So whenever you are guided to watch and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Let's dive into this, you guys, and get your daily sip of tea. Yes, I'm going to start with our main deck here. This is Tarot Mucha, the Tarot Mucha deck. I'm going to give this five shovels. Let's see what we've got for the collective. What messages do we have for the collective at this time, please, Spirit? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Follow us on Patreon. Join the Unicorn Herd on Patreon. That is a great way to get extra content with me throughout the month. Also, to get some discounts on your readings, yes, depending on whichever tier you sign up for. Uh, and it's a great way to support the channel. Thank you to all my patrons. Without you guys, I would not be able to be here, yeah? Let's give this two more shuffles, and we'll see what, what is the sip for the collective today, Spirit? What message do you have for us? What is going on in the collective at this time? Here we go. Oops, don't hit the camera, Eric. What's going on? First card out is the Six of Cups. Okay. Uh, some sort of soulmate connection. I'm getting the past remembrance, nostalgia, okay? What's going on for the collective uh, spirit? Ace of Wands. The Fool. Okay, ooh, all right. The Moon and the Seven of Swords. Ooh. Okay, overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting energies here. Let's talk about this, you guys. Uh, the first card out is the Six of Cups. I can't help but feel like this is some sort of soulmate bond. Either, well... That's normally what the Six of Cups represents. A soulmate connection. Someone is tr obviously trying to take a leap of faith. We do have the fool here. Okay, and, and please bear with me. I just want to make sure that I'm getting the right message here. I'm trying to decipher whether the Six of Cups actually means a soulmate connection, something from the past, or if the Six of Cups represents some sort of soul mission, something that you... Something that really speaks to your soul. This absolutely could have to do with romance. It absolutely could. Take this as it resonates for you guys. Um, what I will say, what I feel like right now, you have the moon with the seven of swords here. I do feel like there's something in your life. There's something going on within the collective that is very, very uh, deceptive. The moon and the seven of swords. I mean, you can't get any more deceptive than that, you guys. Sorry about the the, the sound going on in the background. There's some yard work going on back there. Um, but you can't get any more deceptive than this. And to be, uh, to be quite honest with you, I feel like it's the moon with the seven of swords that is getting you to the point where you're ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to move on from this situation that has strong ties to your past. Now, this absolutely could be a relationship, okay? And what I'm getting, because you do have the Six of Cups, that is somewhat of a soulmate bond. It's also past circumstances. It's memories. It's nostalgia. I am getting an energy here of some, you are connected to some sort of wish or some sort of desire that you may have always had, maybe since you were a little kid, okay? And what I'm getting with the moon to the Seven of Swords here, you guys, is that there is something so deeply deceptive that you're not going to be able to get any sort of clarity in it. And thus, that's, that's causing a situation in which you are desiring freedom from this situation, okay? Ultimately, you are desiring to go towards what it is you truly want out of happiness and love uh, or just 
uh, wish fulfillment. This may have something to do with your children. This may, if you do have children, there may, there is a family aspect here that I feel like is coming through for somebody, for a few people in the collective. Here come the roosters. <laughs> if you're new here, I live in a, in a rural area uh, surrounded by roosters, okay? So there's gonna be a lot of those coming up, so get used to it. <laughs> uh-huh. Something is pushing you or something is pushing someone to take a leap of faith in a new direction. And I feel very strongly here that the biggest catalyst towards this leap of faith, towards this new direction, is the fact that whatever you have going on in your life right now is so incredibly deceptive that you're just not going to get any sort of clarity from it here. Ooh, I had to stop for a second because it was getting like all, there was all kinds of interference coming into the situation. But to be honest with you, that may be relevant to this situation here. Um, and what I'm hearing is the universe has catalyzed this shift, this change in direction for you. I'm very much focused here, the moon and the seven of swords, because there's something about this situation, you guys, that's just like you're not you're just not gaining the clarity that you need. And there's no way to get it. There's all kinds of interference going on here. Something is keeping you from achieving this goal, from achieving this wish, this desire, maybe a desire you may have had for a very long time or since you were a child. That's what I'm getting with the six of cups. Um, Something is keeping you from achieving it here. And you may be experiencing all kinds of disturbances, all kinds of roadblocks, all kinds of like interference. But really that is the universe working this out or working through this situation to get you to get up and move somehow. Whether this is look for a new outlet in order to achieve whatever it is this whatever this is that you desire, or maybe there is a brand new desire that's coming online for you. And I definitely feel like for some of you here with this Six of Cups energy, it has something to do with your childhood, something that you've always wanted to do maybe since you were a child. Now, if this does have something to do with romance and relationships, I feel like somebody is being catalyzed or push, pushed towards receiving some sort of new relationship. This could be a breakup. This could mark the end of a certain relationship. You are being influenced to leave this current circumstance so that you can receive or so that you have a better opportunity to receive that which you truly dream of, that which you really want here. In this case, some of you may have gotten stuck and stagnant in a certain relationship that is no longer working for you, okay? Okay, clarity. I'm being pushed towards clarity. Let's move to our clarifying deck here. I'm going to give this five shuffles. I want to start with the six of cups. Okay, let's define what this, let's get some clarity on this six of cups first. And then we'll move forward from there. Because once we really have an understanding of what the Six of Cups is, then we can have an understanding of what it is you're, toward, you're moving towards. Because I really do feel like this Six of Cups represents some sort of dream that you may have been holding, okay, for the longest time. I'm going to give this one last shuffle. All right. Let's clarify this. What is the Six of Cups for the Collective, please, Spirit? What is the Six of Cups for the Collective? The Nine of Wands. Something has been holding you back. I do feel like this has to do with a certain relationship for someone in which you have been... Okay. Five of Wands. Yes, indeed. Okay. I really feel like um, what I'm picking up on now is there. There, this is a relationship. And you've been attached to a certain... I'm getting. I'm picking up on a masculine individual that seems to have been defining your life for you. This is someone that you have been align in alignment with, <coughs> excuse me, you've been in a relationship with, and it feels like it's somebody that has been, that has looked good on paper, and that is why you got with them. 
okay? This may even be this may even be a bait and switch type of energy in which this person led you on or led you to believe that they held certain values or certain ideals with you only for you guys to get into a relationship together, a committed relationship together to then find out that they really didn't they really didn't believe in that or they really weren't looking for that or they've just changed their mind. But there's some sort of manipulative energy here that has been going on in this relationship or in this circumstance that has had somebody here trying to persevere in terms of getting what it is that they want. And this partner has been, I want to say a curmudgeon the whole time has been trying to redefine for you what it is you truly want. The beautiful thing about this is you have this person has never actually fully let go of this decide this desire in their lives. Okay? Overall energy now we do have the 4 of wands. I do kind of feel like this 4 of wands energy here definitely represents the solidity of this dream, of this desire. This is a soul desire. This is something that is deeply rooted within you. There is no real possibility of letting this go. There is no real chance of letting this go. And I feel like if you don't leave this relationship or leave this circumstance, you're constantly going to be fighting against someone else's wishes or the resistance towards getting what it is you truly want here. Anything else for the Six of Cups, please? Anything else for the Six of Cups? The Ten of Wands. There you go. Yeah. It's gotten to the point where this is completely overburdensome. And I feel like somebody here is try is at a point where now they need to release the burden. Because as you can see here, you're going from the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Wands. Something needs to be let go of. And I like the fact that the Ten of Wands is here now. Because this is saying to me that someone has finally reached the breaking point. This is that energy of the straw that broke the camel's back. Something has got to give. Somebody here is finally fed up with trying to fight against these circumstances. Someone is starting to realize, and now we're going to move. We're going to move down here because I definitely want to clarify the moon and the seven of swords. But someone has finally started to realize that they are not going to be able to achieve what it is they're trying to achieve in this past circumstance. Okay, anything else for the Six of Cups before we move forward? Nope, overall energy, there you go. There it is right there, you guys. There's the world. There is the completion of this process. There is the official moment where you are saying to yourself, I'm done, or this situation needs to be done. I need to move forward here, okay? Excellent. Let's talk about the moon and the seven of swords because this is the energy in which I really feel like, and I want to be honest with you guys, the moon feels like it's your friend here, okay? Because you have this seven of swords energy, you have this de deception here. Somebody's trying to get away with something or someone's trying to deceive you of something. I really do feel like, I, oh gosh. I really feel like Somebody here is connected to a masculine energy. Whether this is a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is a dominant figure in your life. Someone is romantically or um, I wanted to say spiritually connected. This might be an advisor of yours somehow. Might be a family member. But there's someone is connected to a masculine energy that is trying to take away someone else's autonomy. It feels like this person is trying to take away someone else's right to choose or someone else's dreams in order to keep this feminine individual in alignment with what the masculine individual in this situation wants. Not for the feminine's life, but for the masculine's life. It feels like this is a twisted a twisted masculine energy that is using a feminine energy to get what it is that they want, to catalyze, to give birth to, to fertilize their soil so that they can continue to live the life that they want. And this feminine energy loses out somehow. That's what I'm getting from that seven of swords. And then you have the moon coming forward here. This absolutely could be your feminine intuition. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is the moon. I really feel, I honestly, 
Honestly, you guys, I feel like the moon, oh geez, come on, Eric, stop hitting the camera. <laughs> I really feel like this moon energy here, this is your friend, okay? This is the moon or this is your intuition coming forward and recognize, and remember, the moon can be pretty deceptive anyway. The moon represents illusions, deception, and fear, right? But I really feel like the moon is coming forward as your friend saying, look, something's not right here. Or at least you're not going to get what you want out of this situation. This is a deceptive situation here. Okay? So let's clarify this. Clarify the moon and the seven of swords, please, spirit. Page of pentacles. Clarify the moon and the seven of swords. Four of pentacles. Oh, that's two cards. Okay. Clarify the moon and the seven of swords, please. Overall energy, we're back to the four of wands, okay? Um, again, there is a certain permanence within this dream or within this goal for you that's really not, you're really not going to be able to let go of it. There's no need to let it go, okay? All right, see, look. There we go. Clarifying the moon and the seven of swords. You have the page of pentacles to the seven of pentacles to the four of pentacles. All right. So what this feels like here is this is this page of pentacles energy feels like you. Okay. It feels like you trying to continue to put in the time, attention and energy, energy and effort here. All right. But it's really not getting you anywhere. Okay. Look to the set, the page of pentacles to the seven of pentacles. This is asking you to, this is saying to you, what are you really truly committed to? And what is it providing to you? Are you receiving the fruits of your labor that you really desire? Or are you just spinning your wheels? Are you just holding on to the four of pentacles? Are you just holding on to something that is not bringing you justice? Justice is reversed here. Justice to the Knight of Swords. The moon to the Seven of Swords is literally coming forward to say to you, stop fighting for this. Because this is not going to give you justice. This is not going to bring justice. This is an unjust situation to begin with. You need to just let this go. Part of what the Four of Pentacles represents here is holding on to something for dear life with for fear of missing out. There is a level of familiarity here that someone is having trouble letting go of, okay? Maybe that's where the nostalgia of the Six of Cups comes into play. But you've got to let this go because this is not giving you what it is that you want. Stop fighting for this because this is a deceptive situation. I want to clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands for the collective, please, Spirit. What is this Ace of Wands, this new direction, this new desire, the Knight of Wands? This is something you're very passionate about, okay? This is a passion project of some sort. Um, I feel like some of you may have recently re been reactivated in terms of this. This may be a dream, a desire, or goal that has gone dormant for a time, but you've been reactivated on this. What's this Ace of Wands? A passion project. to the Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Okay. What I feel like for the, why is my camera not focusing here? What I feel like for the most part, you guys, okay, um, I feel like you've been reactivated into this situation because something has catalyzed some sort of dream aspect for you. I feel like something happened recently in terms of this Three of Swords energy. And again, it may just be, like I was saying, for the Ten of Wands here, it may just be the, 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 the straw that broke the camel's back. Okay? At some point, enough was enough. And something happened that catalyzed you to remember who it is that you are or remember what it is that you do dream of or what you have been dreaming of. Something brought some sort of truthful energy forward towards you, Ace of Swords. And now you've been reactivated to take up this charge, to reactivate this dream or goal for yourself, to go forward towards this for yourself, okay? Again, a, the straw that broke the camel's back at the bottom of the deck here, boop, you've got the magician, all right? 
I don't understand why my camera doesn't want to focus anymore. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. The magician. You're activated. You're wanting to move forward towards this. You're wanting to manifest. I really feel like we have, we're, what we're really talking about here, you guys, is the straw that broke the camel's back that got you to remember who it is that you are or what it is that you dream of or what it is that you truly want out of life. All right. Last thing I want to clarify here is the fool. Clarify the fool for the collective, please, Spirit. The king of pentacles. There's that masculine energy. And remember, you guys, I, for those of you that are resonating with this on in terms of some sort of um, romantic situation here, I was picking up on, on the fact that this individual looked good on paper. Technically, financially, physically speaking, this person looked like a good match. Okay, but this person did not quite line up to what it is you truly want. And this king of pentacles would be representative of someone that absolutely would look good on paper. But next you have the king of cups. So for some of you here, this is you having been in a relationship with somebody that again would look good on the paper, look good on paper, but as time went on, you started to realize that this person was merely just financially stable or was really quite materialistic. Maybe you were quite materialistic in the beginning of the situation. Everything flowed well, but as time went on, you started to shift and change and realize that the materialism or the, the strong materialistic aspect that this, rep, this person and or relationship represents for you, that's not what you really want. You're shifting towards more of a king of cups type of energy. Now, the king of cups energy is a feeling twofold. One, it's feeling like another person. Some of you actually have met another person that satisfies or sati satiates that emotional side to you or that emotional desire toward for you. That's just for a select few of you. For the most part, this King of Cups energy represents you. Moving forward away from the King of Pentacles towards something that you know is much more satisfying, much more fulfilling for you. But that does not mean that it's an easy endeavor to take. It's, that does not mean it's an easy leap of faith to take. Last card you have here is the Four of Swords. Whatever move that you are making, it's coming from a very clear mind. Overall energy, we're back to that Four of Wands again. All right, guys, I really feel like... This is something that has taken you a long time to come to terms with, a long time to understand. And now you are solid in this. You're, you don't exactly know how things are going to work out, but I do feel very, very strongly for whomever this reading is resonating for at this time. With that Four of Wands energy, you're solid in the fact that you know you need to move forward with this. You're solid in that. It feels like... Regardless as to how ready you may think you are or it may seem to be on the surface or how unready you may think you are, at the core of your being, you know with this Four of Wands energy, you're solid. You know this is the right path for you to take. Okay. Excellent. Um, I want to get closing message and or potential outcome. Here. So I'm going to move to a new deck. This is the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, yeah? Closing message and or potential outcome for the collective in terms of this reading, please. And then we will get your closing. We will get some closing oracle guidance. Don't know where that's going to come from yet, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Closing message, please, spirit and or potential outcome. What is the potential outcome in terms of this situation? <laughs> look at that you guys there's the magician again okay you're, you're going in the right direction knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles did kind of come out in reverse but i'm going to take it that way anything else high priestess Closing message, potential outcome here for the collective in terms of this reading. 
All right, Queen of Swords, Empress. Overall energy is the Queen of Wands. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Excellent. You're in direct alignment. Okay. Um, you know, I want to say this. The, the Knight of Pentacles came out in reverse. I'm actually going to leave it that way because the Knight of Pentacles feels like a bit of a planning phase. And I feel like you have come out of a planning phase here. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles feels like that energy of you taking the time that you needed to take to fully understand what it is you were going through, fully understand what it is that you are feeling, fully understand what it is that you want and what it is you want to create and how you need to move forward towards that. The Knight of Pentacles feels like it was that process for you to get understood and to get <laughs> to a place of understanding how you need to move forward here. And now you're ready to do that, okay? Now you're ready to put that plan into action. Now you have the alignment. Queen of Wands is the overall energy. You have the proper alignment to allow whatever it is you need to come towards you to make this happen, to do it. You, you have the proper alignment. You have the proper motivation to move forward here. Okay, what you need to remain very clear on at this point is what is needed for you to experience what you need to experience or grow what you need to grow. The Empress to the Queen of Swords. Do not, there's a strong level of discernment coming through here for you. And the Empress does represent that feminine individual or that feminine energy that we were talking about here that it was potentially being manipulated by some sort of masculine energy to keep them around to use the feminine's fer fertility whether that's whether that's physically or just energetically spiritually to get what it is they wanted you need to remember that you have this abundance you have this fertility but you also th this was a big lesson for somebody here in terms of being very discerning in who you allow access to your abundance or to your ability to create or bring life to a situation. This was a very strong lesson in that. Remember that you haven't lost any of this fertility or any of this ability or this abundance, but you have learned how to be discerning in terms of who you allow access to that, okay? So now you get to move forward with a greater sense of your own ability and also a greater sense of what it is you want because part of the situation you experienced here helped you understand or helped you figure out what it is you truly want out of life. And now that you have a greater understanding of what it is that you want, you can have a greater experience or a, a, um, um, put into place a better plan of action to actually get it, okay? So this was quite troubling in the beginning, but this is actually turning out to be an excellent message. Okay, very, very excellent. Let's get your closing oracle guidance. And that's actually going to come from the Crystal Mandala Oracle, my good old faithful friend. Yeah, here we go. Five shuffles for this one. One. Closing oracle guidance for our sip of tea for today, please, spirit. Two. Three, four, and five. All right, closing oracle guidance, please, Spirit. And keep in mind, I want to I want to be very clear when we're talking about that masculine energy, this king of pentacles, it could either be a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. So the same goes for the feminine energy in this empress could either be a man or a woman. It really doesn't matter. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. I am not speaking to gender when I talk about these energies. I'm speaking to the energy. OK. OK. Closing Oracle guidance. There it is right there. We have card number 46. Goddess Kali and Black Obsidian. Sacred Revolution. Beautiful. Beautimus.
we bring you the empowerment of sacred revolution. Revolution comes when a cycle of authority or power is ending. It has become inadequate for the task of leadership now required, and a new order must be established in this place. I swear to you, that's that masculine energy. That's that king of pentacles energy that was trying to control and dominate for use for their own reasons or purposes or devices. Okay? It is not simply a chapter within a book drawing to a close, but an entirely new book, perhaps an entirely new genre, opening up according to divine will unfolding. In such cases, subtle change is not going to cut it. You need radical action to bring about the new order. That new order may be in your world or in your own being. When revolution is sacred, the new order will be that which allows you to become more of yourself to successfully attain your spiritual goals. Beautiful, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the description box below for all the information you need there. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Patreon. That was a great way to get extra content with me and to support the channel. And follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. But with that said, y'all, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next sip tomorrow. Yes? Excellent. Bye.